It's the biggest football award in the Twin Tiers, the Ernie Davis Trophy. For one player, history repeated itself today. Elmira senior running back Jerry McPeak wins the Davis Award for the second time in his career. And oh yeah, what a career he has had. McPeak set the Elmira District's all-time rushing mark this year, eclipsing a two-decade-old mark set by EFA's Orlando Smith. Now Jerry's worked pretty hard in his game, and it's all paying off. Kind of, kind of puts it in perspective, you know, a, a kid like that, it's, um, you know, you, you got to realize how much work and, and, and time he's put into it. But yeah, I'm glad that all my coaches and family is here to, to support me the whole season and off season, help me work out and work and get to this point right here. Yeah, it's a great honor because Ernie Davis has always been my idol and it's great to be compared to Ernie Davis and win this award again. And that's not all. The Joel Stevens Award was handed out as well. Two winners here, Waverly quarterback Peyton Miller and Corning running back Gabe Enix. Now getting this honor is what it's all about. It's just an honor to get an award from uh, such a great individual and everything he, everything he does, everything he did. It's just, it's, it's incredible. It means a whole lot to me. Sticking with some football, big news for Syracuse University. The Orange unveiled or unveiled their brand new indoor practice facility. Now this is awesome. Cuse also announced that they will start spring practice early. Instead of mid-March to late April start, the Orange are looking at a late February start time. Syracuse finished 3-9 this season. Another day, another signing for the Corning Hawks, and this one should come as no surprise. Another lacrosse player moving on. Matt Carpenter signed to play lacrosse at Roberts Wesleyan College near Rochester, upping his game even more for the future. Carpenter has been on several off-season elite teams, along with being a Nike Upstate Rising team selection. Now, this is a solid opportunity for Matt at the D2 level, something he's pumped for to take on the next four years. Well, playing at a at a high like a high level across at Corning. That has pushed me to be greater and, you know, better and, you know, playing with the best makes you the best. So feels good. I mean, uh, not many people in the country really get to go play Division II lacrosse and get an athletic scholarship. So I'm pretty happy about that. 